effective addiction archery. I'm your host, Jeff Phillips. Hope and pray you enjoy this video and you find it helpful. You say, what in the world you got going on today, Jeff? Well, I'm going to share something with you um, that I really think you're going to enjoy. I really do, and you're going to find it helpful if you are a long bow shooter. Now, you can use this with a recurve as well. Absolutely, you can. But we're going to focus on the longbow today. Now, lots of people shoot longbows. All right. And the one fact about a longbow is they have a very short riser. The riser itself, guys, the riser itself, see, is maybe 13 inches from fade to fade. Maybe. Okay. You would never want to mount your quiver outside of the fades because it affects the limb action. It affects the tiller. It affects everything about the bow. So you want to make sure that you've got them well inside of the fades. All right. Well, the problem is when you put most quivers on a longbow, most of them, what you get is you get a lot of tail section of the arrow out past the grippers, right? What does that do? When you shoot, you get noise. You get vibration like this. Your feathers want to touch from the recoil of the bow. They want to move. So how do you eliminate that? Well, guys, I'll tell you what I did. I got me a custom ordered gun shy quiver. This is the gun shy quiver I had custom built for this bow. And of course it'll fit any bow I've got, doesn't matter. But I did this within mine with my bow here, my old battle longbow by Jonathan Adams. I had this bow in mind when I ordered this quiver because I wanted number one, I wanted a quiver that fit this longbow tight, close to the bow where I didn't get a lot of torque that I could move it forward where, where it had the perfect amount of balance. And guys, if you mount your quivers way back toward the string, you're going to get a lot of torque. When you release the bow, your bow's going to kick. You're going to get a lot of torque. Okay, so how do you eliminate that? Well, these are so fully adjustable, guys. The brackets on these things, you can move it any way you want, up and down, in and out, whatever. Okay, it's so adjustable. That's what I love about it. I've got mine relatively close to the riser, and that eliminates my torque, okay? And it gives my bow absolute perfect balance. I mean, it, it puts just the right amount of weight on a feather light one-piece longbow. It really does. But the biggest thing, guys, that it's doing for me is it is eliminating my arrow slap, okay? During release, the slap of the tail section of the arrow is because these gunshot quivers are long enough this bracket is long enough that my gripper is far enough away from the hood and burst you know my broadheads that it is containing my arrows in a way that i do not get that guys and that's what i love about it instead of my gripper being way up here and here in other words like if i was running any other standard quiver i'd have a lot of tail section hanging out below the the arrow gripper right I would. So when I shoot, I would have a lot of vibration going on, arrows touching and vibrating, making noise that would scare game, okay? Make them jump the string a lot more than they will if you don't have that. All right, so I wanted to introduce this to you guys and show you that I have figured out a really good solution for mine, and that is the Gun Shy Quiver. Now, the Gun Shy Quivers are custom built, handmade, custom built. Uh, your brackets are... Uh, powder coated the hoods are completely hand stitched hand built for whatever type of broadhead you're going to shoot whatever your configuration is guys they are totally awesome they truly are awesome they're world-class quivers they are uh, i tried a lot of different ones on this particular bow on this particular bow and i was never satisfied with anything because of the shortness of my riser I just didn't have enough riser length to work with without having a lot of excess hanging down and my arrows were making noise, okay? So, I noticed that these had the length that I wanted, the adjustability I wanted, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to try one. So, I was gracious enough to get my hands on one. I got it mounted on. I experimented with a few things, and guys, I'm going to share this with you real quick. If you do buy a gun-shy quiver, being they're so fully adjustable, you may say, well, Jeff, I don't have a clue where to even set this thing for my bow. You can do it however you want to, guys, but they're so easy to play with and figure out what your bow likes the best. Now, I'll tell you what mine like the best. To eliminate my torque, my, my uh, right-to-left torque when I shoot, I'm a right-handed shooter, 
I simply moved my bracket. I loosened these up and I moved my bracket closer in toward the riser, the bow itself, instead of sitting so far back. That eliminated that. I also got my up and down because it's got slots as high or low as you want to put it. I got it up and down where my bow is just perfectly balanced. I mean, my bow balances so incredibly well. You can go up, you can go down, whatever you want to do. But when you get it balanced right, get it adjusted right it is the best enhancement to a one-piece longbow that i have personally seen nothing like it they're so incredibly quiet but they are you know they're handmade they're beautiful beautiful quivers okay so i'm going to shoot this thing for you a time or two guys and show you my old battle longbow by jonathan adams i love the bow i'm shooting a 58 inch bow um 46 pounds at 28, I draw 27 pounds, so I'm shooting about 44 pounds. That's what I've scaled my weight with this bow, about 44 pounds with this bow. Uh, butter smooth bow shoots incredibly well. The arrows that I set up for my old battle are the obsidian, the standard obsidian 500s. Okay, my total arrow weight is a 500 grain arrow right on the nose. I think I'm actually like 501. I have 100 grain inserts, 200 grain tips. Um, could not possibly find a better shooting arrow for this particular bow. Can't, I, I couldn't do it. I've tried everything, and that is my choice. But what I like about this quiver setup, guys, is it is so tight to the bow. And when you have a feather light one piece long bow, and you typically shoot with a little bit of cant, the quiver's weight itself helps you not to float on your target. Let's just say you're a guy that likes to hold when you draw. A feather light bow that weighs barely over a pound, if that, that thing is going to want to try to float around. You almost can't hold the bow arm still enough without a quiver. And you need a quiver. If you're going to hunt, you need something where you can grab an arrow quick and take a follow-up shot or whatever. All right, so the quiver has multiple purposes. It balances the bow gives it the right amount of mass weight where it is rock solid and stable. It just helps you with accuracy because of the weight. Also, it gives you a place to put your hunting arrows without having to do something different. They're right there where you can grab one out, load, and shoot. Just because sometimes you have to. Pretty quick. Uh, also, guys, I'll show you another cool thing. People ask me all the time. They say, what is this little orange thing on your, air, on your bow? Well, this is a stop the drop. That is called a stop the drop. There's lots of arrow holders on the market, guys. But this is a stop the drop. Uh, Big Jim carries them now. Gary DeCaro uh, makes them, produces them. Big Jim sells a lot of them. I'm not sure where all else you can get them, but you know Gary's always sent me plenty of them. But I know Big Jim has them on his website. And to me, they are the best arrow holder there is. Even with heavy FOC, your arrow is not coming off. It's not coming off, but yet when you go to pull, you go to draw, look how easy it gets out of the way. Silent. It is a great asset to your bow. If you have your bow hanging on a bow hanger in a tree stand, and say the wind's blowing and whatnot, you know, your bow's blowing in the wind, whatever, if you don't have one of these, your air is going to fall off that rest. It's going to. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to even put your finger on it. You don't have to do anything. It does what it's supposed to do. So these are the cool things that I have put on my old battle longbow. I've got it completely tricked out. Triple T-string. This thing is best of the best. I mean, it is everything you could possibly do to have the ultimate longbow for hunting. All right, guys, let's do a little bit of shooting, and I'm going to show you how balanced this bow truly is now and how I have zero arrow noise out of this bow during the shot which is ultimately what you have to have i mean you have to silence your shelf i got the calf hair i even got a nose piece right here where i have if i'm loading an arrow guys look at that i have no no contact noise at all loading an arrow none uh, my stop the drop of course uh, i've got my quiver close i've got it forward i don't have torque don't have the jiggle wiggle slap noise because of the way this thing is made and this is what i want you to see during the shot listen closely and watch the balance 
and you'll see what I mean, why I'm running this quiver system. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Super balanced and quiet. I'm going to shoot it that long one out there. That thing's close to 30 yards. Just to see if I can put a kill shot on it. Goofy looking buck. <laughs> Telling you, these are the most natural feeling bows in the world. There's nothing easier to shoot instinctive than a one piece longbow. Not gonna happen, guys. Um, and if you'll notice, uh, a lot of you guys from the old school, like me, I'm old school, I'll be 56 uh, this month. Jay Gregory, Jay Gregory, you know, longtime celebrity outdoors. Uh, Absolute monster buck killer for years and years and years. And I mean, he goes all the way back to the days of Roger Raglan and Dan Fitzgerald and all of our, all the guys that we grew up watching on the VHS tapes, you know, and all that stuff and on the Outdoor Channel and whatnot. Jay is shooting a longbow identical to mine. Jonathan actually built him one exact same color almost. His bow's gorgeous. But anyway, Jay is shooting an old battle longbow now. See, the trad bug even bit him. It bites everybody at some point in time. You can shoot compounds all your life, and I love compounds too. I do. I absolutely love them because they just, they're insane. You know, the shots you can take and, and kill deer with. I love them. But even like him, you know, you, you reach a pinnacle in life and you want the next challenge. You want the next chapter. You want, you want to take up something that challenges everything in you to be a better hunter. Get closer, put yourself in a position to get a shot. And we're talking generally inside of 15 yards, 20 yards for sure. And these are the ultimate little bows to do it with. Out of a tree stand, whatever. I think he got a 56 inch bow, mine's a 58. And to me, this dub bow's plenty short. Plenty short for me, for any, any situation. Uh, but a 56 sure enough would be. But if you get the right quiver system, like this gunshot, I promise you, it's a game changer for the silence of your shot. It is a game changer for any one piece longbow that has a relatively short riser. Um, I've not seen anything to top these. I, I really truly hadn't guys. So uh, we'll take a couple more shots down here and whatnot and show you what's up and maybe you'll be able to hear just how quiet this thing truly is. Let's do some shooting. These bows are so accurate, it's crazy. They're so easy to shoot instinctively. They're so incredibly easy. Which long bows are that way? People ask me all the time, Jeff, do you prefer a recurve or a longbow? I love recurves for the performance. I do. But this bow's fast too. I mean, it's really quick for what it is. But it's so easy to shoot. And if I had to say, okay, which one is the easiest to shoot? A million times over, the longbow is going to be easier to shoot instinctive than a recurve. All right, guys. We're going to ground pound. Show you why, why I choose to shoot this kind of bow if I am ground hunting. Because it's natural. It's short, it's nimble. I could shoot with a cant, an extreme cant if I need to. It is the ultimate ground hunting bow. And lots of you guys do hunt on the ground. So I'm gonna show you like, okay, if I'm, if I'm on the ground in a treetop or in a blind or whatever, how incredibly natural this setup is for traditional bow hunting. It's awesome. All right, I moved down the range a little bit. We're gonna try the old standing bear a time or two. See what we can do to him. Check it out. These bows are totally awesome. Look at that, they're touching. I'm telling you. 
Game changers. They are. Just, just wear him out, man. Wear him out. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm your host, Jeff Phillips. Hope you've enjoyed every bit of it. Hope you've learned something today. Get you a gunshot quiver and get you an old battle longbow. You won't be disappointed. I promise you that. You will not be disappointed. You'll be, you'll be very happy. Very, very happy. Uh, even if you're just now taking up traditional archery, it's a great investment. They're not expensive. Either one of them are. But you can start at absolute top quality. If you just want to cut all the corners and go to the best, there you are, guys. That's, that's what you need to do. So, uh, and still be affordable. Not spend a whole lot of money. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I pray, as always, everything we do bring honor and glory to the Lord Jesus. It gives us everything to enjoy, including cool bows, cool arrows, archery in general, and bow hunting. Till next time, guys, God bless you.